A growing threat to Oklahomans' health is the development of bacterial strains that no longer respond to traditional forms of treatment. Antibiotic-resistant bacteria are not new, but they are becoming a significantly bigger problem for healthcare professionals. As these so-called superbugs learn to outsmart the drugs designed to kill them, doctors are waging an intense battle to contain what federal health officials are labeling nightmare bacteria. The family of bacteria commonly known as CRE has been around for years, but became much more dangerous in the past decade after developing an immunity to almost all antibiotics. Federal health officials estimate thousands of hospital patients nationwide have been infected by CRE, which is spreading fast. Earlier this year, the Centers for Disease Control issued an advisory for CRE, urging health care providers to take aggressive steps to avoid further outbreaks. The CDC has confirmed CRE cases in 43 states, including Oklahoma. Dr. John Harkis is an infectious disease physician at Mercy Hospital in Oklahoma City. He says CRE has evolved to the point that the drugs once used to treat it are no longer effective. These are antibiotics that are very broad spectrum, very potent drugs. We've used them for some of our most difficult to treat infections. And these bacteria are now, now have acquired resistance to these drugs. Even stronger antibiotics are still available, but it's getting harder to stay ahead of the bacteria. There's less antibiotic development going on now than there used to be. Uh, there are not many new classes of antibiotics out there being studied, at least not as many as there might have been in the past. And, and we are going to be more troubled with infections that, that given an antibiotic, won't fix it. State epidemiologist Becky Kaufman says, in addition to being practically invincible to antibiotics, CRE poses an additional threat. Resistance can be uh, transmitted from one organism to another, and the cause of resistance in CRE can be transmitted to other organisms easily. That means other bacteria can also become practically immune to antibiotics, increasing the risk of life-threatening infections in some patients. Exposure to CRE can be risky for anyone, but the danger is greatest for patients recuperating at a hospital. These are generally people who already are, are immunocompromised uh, in some way due to their disease process or the length of time they've been in a hospital. And so these already very ill people are the ones who are susceptible to CRE. And when they get it, what's been measured to this point is about a 50% uh, fatality rate. CRE is transmitted by contact with an infected patient. And so far, infections have been relatively rare. Kaufman is aware of only a handful of cases in the state. Exact numbers are hard to come by since Oklahoma hospitals are not required to report CRE or other cases of drug-resistant bacteria. They can voluntarily report to us any type of multi-drug resistant organism and hospitals do that. We are the list of reportable diseases have to do with the general public, not in institutions, and what can be spread from person to person. While the risk of being infected with CRE is still small, Dr. Harkis says it's not the only threat to patients' health. This is one organism, but it's just part of a much bigger problem, and that as we have developed antibiotics and used antibiotics, and used antibiotics a lot, uh, we start selecting out bacteria within populations that are resistant to our drugs. We're dealing with others that are equally troublesome. Uh, MRSA and Clostridium difficile in the hospital, these things um, can be the difference between survival and not for some people. Development of the so-called superbugs is forcing hospitals to take extra precautions to prevent further spread of the bacteria. Isolation, which is called contact precautions, where you put the person in a private room. People uh, attend more carefully to hand hygiene, which should always be attended to carefully in a healthcare setting. Uh, use of gowns and protective equipment when they enter the room. Healthcare professionals say anyone attending an infected patient should wash their hands when they enter the patient's room and again before they leave to prevent further contaminating anyone else other methods of combating the spread of drug-resistant bacteria include machines that use ultraviolet light to improve sterilization of operating rooms and patient quarters. Prevention is key, since treatment options for drug-resistant bacteria are few, 
and recovery in large part depends on the patient's own immune system.